In this video, we're going to look at how to prove that x minus 1 is greater than or equal to log base of x for x is greater than 0 using calculus techniques. In order to prove the statement x minus 1 is greater than or equal to log of x for x is greater than 0, we can consider proving the equivalent statement of x minus 1 minus log of x is greater than or equal to 0. Let's consider the function y is equal to x minus 1 minus log of x. If we can show that this function is greater than or equal to 0 for x is greater than 0, then we can conclude that x minus 1 is greater than or equal to log of x for x is greater than 0. To do this, we can use calculus techniques. We want to use calculus to show that this function has a minimum value that is greater than or equal to 0 within this domain. So to start, we're going to find the first derivative of the function. Given y is equal to x minus 1 minus log of x, the y on dx is equal to 1 minus 1 on x. To find the stationary point, we're going to solve for dy on dx is equal to 0. When dy on dx is equal to 0, we have got 1 minus 1 on x is equal to 0. Solving for x, we get x is equal to 1. This means that we have a stationary point at x is equal to 1. Our next step is to determine whether this stationary point is a minimum or maximum. To do this, we now use the second derivative. The second derivative, d squared y on dx squared is equal to 1 on x squared. To find the nature of the stationary point at x is equal to 1, we're going to substitute this value of x into this expression. So we have d squared y on dx squared is equal to 1 on x squared. When we substitute x is equal to 1, this evaluates to just 1. Now this value is greater than 0, which means that the curve concaves up at x is equal to 1. So if the curve concaves up at x is equal to 1, and it is also a stationary point at x is equal to 1, we can now conclude that we have a minimum stationary point at x is equal to 1. Now that we have got the x coordinate of the stationary point of x is equal to 1, we're going to substitute this value into the function y is equal to x minus 1 minus log of x to find the minimum value of this function. So substituting x is equal to 1 into this function, we're going to get y is equal to 1 minus 1 minus log of 1, which evaluates to 0. So this means that the minimum value of y is equal to x minus 1 minus log of x is 0 and occurs at x is equal to 1. So this means that x minus 1 minus log of x is greater than or equal to 0 for x is greater than 0 and therefore x minus 1 is greater than or equal to log of x for x is greater than 0. Our statement is proven. To make sense of all of this, here's a graph that represents the situation. The blue line is the graph of y is equal to x minus 1. The red curve is the graph of y is equal to log of x. They intersect at the point 1, 0, and you can see that for all values of x is greater than 0, the function y is equal to x minus 1 is above or greater than the function y is equal to log of x. They're both equal at the point when x is equal to 1. Thank you everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys benefited from that. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We release videos weekly and we would love to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.